Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a craft room overview. Um, I know I did a craft room tour in 2019, but I haven't done one this year and I have a new room. So I'm just going to give you like the layout. It is a smaller room, which I really am liking. Um, so this is the door that you walk in and when you first walk in, this is what you would see, but I'm going to start, whoops, sorry, I did not mean to go that fast. Sorry. Um, I'm going to start here though, because I'm standing on this side, but, um, I've got my cart here and then I've got this little library cart right here with all my Maggie homes and some Dollar Tree organization. Then I have my Prima flowers here and this door rack holding just random trims and um, it's a craft bag. This beautiful little bag up here. And then my Bible journaling bag. Then I have like my tool set up over here with this um, cupboard. And this is a really wide cupboard. It's just really skinny. Um, I wanted to hang it on the wall up here, but then I don't know where to put that. But um, this isn't finished, but this is what it looks like. Sorry, didn't mean to go so fast. That's what that looks like. And then I have like all this Dollar Tree organization. And then a little empty shelf right there and then this cute little thing and then right here I have my um, dresser my drawers from Michaels and I'm just putting this cart right here with all my trims and stuff from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree um, right there with my sewing machine on top and then um, as you come up I've got some just random things here I'm trying to use a lot of vertical space because this is such a smaller room. And then this is the only window in this room and I have my desk um, in front here of it and I've put like this little white cupboard here. This is like a shoe rack from Target. And then I put some organization in there from Target as well and TJ Maxx or Home goods, I don't remember. Um, and then I have this little, um, it's like a little container and it's got two levels. I, I picked this up at Michael's actually. Um, it was one of their displays. And I wrapped it in cardstock and then I painted it white so it's really sturdy. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, see the back here? There's like two different levels. And I've just been putting. A lot of my new stuff in here and then this is my desk Let's come back here this is my desk right here and right now just for right now it goes over right there and there's my carousel and stuff but just for right now I have this cart right here I'm gonna get a new chair but I have a, this cart right here that I've just butted up against my drawers. And it would be clean right here if I didn't have that cart right there. Just like that. But um, I'm putting that cart right there because I don't have anywhere else to put that cart. And I have um, more space right here and this stuff is just randomly stuffed under here I don't this isn't really organized at all I did put all of my yarn there together and like those two little totes and then at the bottom here and then I don't know if I'm gonna leave that like that I'm kind of in limbo with a lot of this stuff and then over here in this corner this corner wall I had just a tiny bit of space that I put all of my um, that's not supposed to be on there. All of my um, trims and laces in. I still have all those in there. And then back here, I have all my wrapping paper in a little container back there. 
and then I have this little cute cube with my cardstock and I don't know if I, that's just like randomly put up there and I don't really like how this looks either on top of here and then I have this little cupboard and it has storage a nice size storage inside of it as well and then drawers at the bottom here and then I have um, my beads right here that's not all of them this there's more in here but I'm, I'm trying to keep them all together I know one wouldn't fit in there because it's too wide I need to like move all of the beads out of them and put them in a smaller container like the rest of them then I have this dresser here and um, it holds like winter and fall and then stickers and like random stuff and then I have my pegboard here with my machines that I use and then um, I just put them side by side I did have them um, opposite of each other in my last room and then I have this shelf here and I don't know if this is a Calyx I don't know I don't know what it is I I picked it up second hand but it's really thick on top and on the sides so it's really sturdy so I just opted to put it sideways and I put all of my paper and then I have these little drawers at the bottom here and then here when you turn I have this randomly sitting here I still need to finish painting it but um, I have this cart here that was inside the closet and then this is the closet door and all of this needs to find a home this is all my vintage stuff that I've taken out of my they used to be in those drawers all organized but I need to find a new system because that is full of different stuff that I use way more often than this but I did want to organize it you know if I want to use it I don't want it just thrown in boxes so I have a lot of that there all my vintage all my wooden stamps yada yada and then when you come around this I have this dresser here I've been painting it needs like two more coats but it's full of laces and trims because I was into Chevy chic and I kept everything and then I have like randomness stuff over here boxes and happy mails that need to go out and then just like random stuff I don't know where to put yet and I've kind of been organizing in here. I really like these colors. So these are all Dollar Tree. And this is that one bead thing that didn't fit in the other little shelf. So I need to replace that. Um, and then I have these. That needs redone. These are literally filled with randomness. Like, I don't even know what's in them. But I got to clean all that out. It's just going to take me a lot longer than I want it to, but I wanted to show you guys like the layout of my craft room. And then this is the closet. I mean, the fabric. Sorry, I've lost my train of thought. This is where I keep um, a lot of my fabric in with like my shabby area because that's what I would use it for. And then this is a banner I made from a kit that my friend Kim sent me. Um... And then this in, this area is empty. I still have this pink paint. It was for my daughter's bedroom. And I took out the shelf right here because I was going to try to put that dresser right there. But the lip was too wide. So I couldn't get it to fit in there. And that was a bummer because I really wanted that in that corner. But I'm going to finish painting here. And then I have just this right here. And then when you come out... That's that same little cupboard that I just pulled out of here. I have this one. And I threw some spray paint on it because I really like that color. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I have to find somewhere to put that. And then this here I, is my um, inspiration wall. I know a lot of people just have like an inspiration board. But I have... Like everything that I've been sent from my Crafty Pals is basically over here. And then I have some.
some planners right here. And I know these baskets are just stuff that, no, those are cards from everybody. And then these are baskets with stuff that I've made. So I'll just give you a little peek down here. And there's like embellishment boxes. And that's my planner. Um, and then I have all these beautiful books that have been made for me. I absolutely adore them. And then more embellishment boxes. And just a beautiful banner from Miss Everly. I have binder mills and pocket letter file folders. Tag flips. Beautiful frame pictures, envelopes, little, what are these? These are hoop mills. So I have three of those. I have like a mermaid one. Whoops. I have a mermaid one down here. Oops, I totally didn't catch that. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is the wall of Happy Mail. <laughs> and I have room to grow. I don't know if I'll be able to get the door open, but <laughs> I absolutely love all this stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys an, a quick overview of my craft room. And you're going to just have to wait to see like the, the end. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. That like the, when I get it all done, then I'll go back through it. But it's just going to take me a while. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.